Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! So, I had taken a little break because I had the fibromyalgia attack again. It's insane. It's just happening too much. So, I'm probably going to change my doctor and get myself checked up again. Because fibromyalgia is something, it's not just a physical pain. Like, first off, like the physical pain, I can't like explain to you how severe it is. It's it's horrible it's horrible like you feel very helpless and you feel like there's no ending to it you'd rather like just leave this planet and you know leave this body instead of painting instead of like bearing that pain but otherwise as well your i don't know about other people but my speech becomes a little slurred like i can't like recall names or words sometimes i get very foggy uh, plus like I have no energy so I can't really do much so I've not been filming uh, a lot but I'm trying to at least post two videos a week which I think is like okay I think uh, like YouTube will be okay with it and not like stop promoting my videos and um, yeah I just wanted to give you this little life update just in case I disappear one of these days for a while so don't panic I will probably just be taking some rest. <laughs> So as promised, today I have part one of all my Kiali perfumes. So I bought like 10 ml, uh, the deluxe minis they call it. So they look like the, the actual original bottle, but they're like these tiny 10 ml bottles. I just decided to make two parts because Mona has like 14 perfumes now. Congrats, Mona. Uh, but like incorporating all of them would probably not be a very good idea. So I have like seven today and then I'll do seven in the following video and seven is my lucky number so <laughs> it all works out <laughs> so let me try and like go uh, backtrack right so I'm gonna start with the latest release which is their uh, wedding collection which consists of uh, velvet santal and silk santal so I'm gonna start with silk santal first look at this cutie bottle oh my gosh these bottles are like so gorgeous so of course I've used quite a, quite a bit of it because I was like impatient and I just wanted to keep like dousing myself in this perfume. So this perfume, this collection was um, created uh, for Mona's wedding uh, with Hassan. So she created a perfume for herself and with the help of Hassan she created one that he would like for himself as well. What I like about this collection because it's a his and her, they complement each other really well. So for me it's like the perfection, the perfect duo as a wedding perfume because the male perfume is not really like dominating it is the female perfume that's dominating and the male perfume just adds a little bit more to the perfume and makes it like even more powerful even more well-rounded and you just feel the combination of the two is like amazing so this is your silk santal and there's a number associated with every kiali perfume and that's the number of times they uh, had to try the perfume to perfect it and it also happens to be Mona's age which is like amazing so this perfume of course like the name suggests it's very sandalwood heavy and right off the bat like it's a very happy perfume you feel happy you feel uh, bubbly you feel ultra feminine sultry sexy but like in a very tamed way like a wedding scenario you know and like the perfume projects quite a bit but it's not so much that it would overwhelm everybody around you but when you would come near the bride like you will get like a nice two feet scent bubble so the name comes of course with the key ingredient sandalwood which is uh, in their tradition in uh, the Sudanese tradition which is where Hassan is from it's a very weddingy thing or occasion thing and I can understand that because in India even we have this whole tradition with sandalwood and some other woods you know so um, and the dress she was wearing was uh, this beautiful silk material and that's why they call it the silk santal so the top notes for this is champagne freesia and blackcurrant the middle notes are orange blossom nectarine jasmine praline and rose and the base notes of vanilla absolute sandalwood oak moss musk and amberwood and all these precious ingredients combined make this like a beautiful choice i mean i don't see anybody not liking this perfume it's an easy reach it's perfectly fine for daily use as well it'll just make you feel ultra beautiful uh imagine like a wedding like in a garden with the bride and everybody everything is like very 
uh, sparkly, everything is very white, everything is very pure, but then you have the garden element around you. It's like beautiful. But at the same time, it is not a boring perfume. You know, it starts with this uh, frizziness like champagne, you know, and like something that has like a little pop. And then finally, like it becomes like a little sugary, little floral. Uh, it becomes like quite sweet and then ultimately settles down to this woody base, which is your sandalwood and your musk. And towards the end of the day, you'll be left with this beautiful vanillic scent on your skin. Uh, even after like six, seven hours, you will still smell it on yourself, but it'll be like your, let's call it a combination of vanilla, musk and sandalwood. That's what stays in the end. As a matter of fact, I feel like it reaches the base note quite fast, but the sugariness, it still remains in the center and like with the little florals, but the base notes are what shines in this perfume. This perfume, of course, leans like super feminine. The projection is like a two feet scent bubble and the lasting power is like around six hours. But I would say like the initial two hours is very like bubbly and very floral, beautiful, vanillic scent. But then it becomes like the base notes like really quickly. I have given this perfume a nine out of ten because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Uh, sadly, it's a limited edition and it only comes in 50 ml or these 10 ml uh, bottles. But uh, I'm definitely going to uh, have this in a 50 ml bottle very, very soon. I'm just waiting for the November sale so that I can afford all the Kiali perfumes that I want to buy and keep in my collection. And the celebrity I've assigned to this is, of course, Mona Katan because this was created for her. So it instantly reminds me of uh, Mona Katan in her wedding dress. The next perfume is another perfume from the wedding collection and this is called Velvet Santal 35. So this is uh, based on Hassan wearing a velvet black tuxedo and uh, his age is 35 and they took 35 tries to perfect this perfume. And this one is your sandalwood goodness. Like for me, this is like, it just makes me feel like it is um, like a woody, perfume with a slight citrus and floral opening but it's like slightly there it just comes and goes like very quickly and then you're left with this tea scent along with uh your sandalwood like it's very prominent the tea sandalwood and musk it's like it's right there and i don't feel this has like uh, a middle note it goes from top note with that little citrus and fruity scent to your base notes and the base notes comprise of everything else that's why i feel when you put these two together the Silky Santal and the Velvet Santal, they like outshine like most of the perfumes around them. The top notes for this are Jasmine and Tea, middle notes of White Musk and Cedarwood, and the base notes are Benzoin and Sandalwood. But to me, honestly, this smell is literally a base note. It's like if you want any of your perfumes to have that sandalwood, woody, like cedar and sandalwood base, like just like use this, like I would use this as layering as well. Of course, in comparison to the Silk Santal, it, it like kind of like it's, it's a very subdued thing. But honestly, like the whole concept, like for me, it's the concept that matters. Will I get this in a 50 ml? I might just because this is a limited edition and I would just want it because if it's gone, I might miss it. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 just because it was created like together with the other perfume. And Sil Santal definitely for me is the uh, the front runner, and this one is like the supporting, loving husband, Hassan. You know? And the celebrity for me, of course, this is going to be Hassan in his black tuxedo. The sillage is like a foot, like it's a scent bubble, and the lasting power is really good. It's like six hours plus because it just think of it as a base note perfume, and it'll just stay on you like forever. And of course, if you're going to overspray this perfume, it's going to last much longer. I would probably keep topping it up every two hours just to get that little, um, that like that little oomph in the beginning with that uh, jasmine and tea. So yes, I will be getting a 50 ml of this as well, just because this is a limited edition. The next perfume on the list is uh, a perfume that became very controversial <laughs> because people expected it to smell a certain way and then it turned out to be like a completely different perfume and this is your yum pistachio gelato 33 guys i i'm like um, what do you call it i'm short-sighted right so like when i wear lenses i'm wearing it to see like further out so when i look at like small little tiny letters like this it's difficult for me to like read it oh actually if i put it towards the light 
So the good thing for me was that I did not get like sucked into the hype when I purchased this. So initially it was like promoted with that nice gelato, the pistachio gelato looking uh, bottle. Uh, my bottle, however, is this transparent bottle with like a green liquid. So I did not associate it with that white cap and that gelato looking bottle. Plus the PR was very much like gelato pistachio gelato pistachio so everybody just assumed that it's going to be a gourmand fragrance and it's going to be very vanilla very pistachio and i think everybody was expecting it to be something like uh, what was that perfume by uh, elisa girl of now i think everyone was expecting it to smell like that and then what you got was like a completely <laughs> different uh, perfume on fragrantica it's got 3.88 so people are like not so happy but still they like it and I think this is a polarizing scent. So there are people who like really like it and some people who just do not like this perfume. But I know a lot of people who initially did not like this perfume, but when they started wearing it and they got that notion out of their head that it's supposed to smell like ice cream, <laughs> like pistachio ice cream, they started liking this perfume. So like what I would suggest is that if you're buying this perfume or if you're getting a decant or smelling it in a shop, get this notion out of your head that it's gonna smell like whipped cream or gelato or marshmallow or any of that stuff like go with an open mind and just think i'm just gonna go and smell this perfume and see how it feels so first off this perfume is like a beast of a perfume the moment you spray it you can smell it across the room it's like weird because like when i sprayed this ali came from the other room and he was like what are you wearing it's smelling nice and i can smell it in the house but he also thought that it is uh, our laundry. So he asked me like, did you use something in the laundry? Because it does have that fabric softener kind of scent. But it's just like, uh, like a nuance of it. It's not, it doesn't, I'm not saying it smells like downy or one of your <laughs> uh, fabric softeners. But trust me, when you smell it, you will know what I'm talking about. Like it has that little fabric softener kind of element. It smells exactly like when you open a downy bottle and if you put your nose to it, that feeling you get that creamy, uh, you know, that uh, the liquid, how it looks like thick and, you know, you get that feeling. But very soon you start detecting this uh, pistachio scent, which is the smell of actual pistachio. So it's not your pistachio ice cream or your pistachio milkshake or anything with whipped cream. It smells like your actual pistachio. Like take a bite of your pistachio and smell it and you'll see it doesn't smell like gelato. Yeah. <laughs> and I get some other nutty feeling as well, like it's a couple of nuts, like maybe hazelnut and pistachio together. And then it slowly moves into your fruity floral. Let me tell you the notes so you kind of make sense, you know. The top notes are Italian bergamot, pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum and cardamom. Middle notes of geranium, white peony, miguet, jasmine, raspberry, white peach and pear. And the base notes are whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy, Turkish delight, accord, cocoa, cedarwood, Sandalwood and Tonka, that's a lot of notes. Off the bat, I can just tell you that, yeah, it does start smelling creamy towards the end, but the beginning is very green pistachio. That's why you need to wait, like spray it and don't judge it. Like wait for it to reach the middle notes and the base notes. And that's when you'll start feeling that nutty, uh, creamy, I won't call it like whipped cream, but it is like a little creamy and like your fruity florals. It gets like really, really sweet uh, towards the base notes. Um, which is why I think she called it yum because it does smell like something really edible but like you know it's a sweet and I know it's like a dessert it's like it smells like uh, I don't know what it, what it's called like we used to call it nougat or I don't know but it's like I think it's a French uh, thingy I'm gonna put the picture somewhere over here it's called but I, like we used to call it nougat but some people call it nugget and I know it's like a like a uh, it's a sweet which is like um white in color it's like a cube and then it has like these pistachios stuck to it for me it smells very similar to that so more than gelato it's that like nougat or nugget or whatever you call that dessert which is a french one you know <laughs> this is not um blind by worthy it you have to smell this it also kind of smells shampooy so like initially when i smelled it i was like per plus you know if anybody knows how Perth Plus used to smell like, yes, I'm that old. <laughs> so yeah, like the Perth Plus, like the scent it had, like it was a very strong scent and it would leave the shower smelling of uh, Perth Plus, your hair, your body, everything would smell like Perth Plus. 
and when you take a shower open the door the whole house would start smelling like perth plus you know so i did feel like that perth plus kind of smell and which is why i really like this perfume and i am still contemplating i'm going to still use it as of now where i stand is i will buy the 50 ml of this but i am a little bit skeptical so we'll see in november if i actually did go ahead and buy the 50 ml for this this is again a feminine perfume the projection is like 3 feet at least if not more depends on how much you spray and the longevity is 6 hours at least like i can smell it the whole day like i not even 6 hours it's like in the evening if i smell my hand i'll be able to smell this thing you know but of course like longevity like it's like uh, there was a very good point one of uh, the subscribers had mentioned that when you say longevity can you like break it down and tell us like okay you say 6 hours so what does it smell like every hour you know um uh, in that case like i would give the opening like maybe like 30 minutes that uh, weird green pistachio scent that's throwing people off it's just like 30 minutes and then the middle notes would stay for another 4 hours along with the base notes and then slowly slowly it would just go into the base note and stay on your skin for till you wash it off you know and your base notes are like very tonka very like whip cream little nutty that scent you would get like right towards the end i rated this like 7 out of 10 because i was like i'm not sure about it but i'm very tempted to give it an 8 because like the more i'm smelling it the more i'm liking it and maybe like it's like kind of macerating although i know like kiali it's a quality perfume it's expensive for a reason because they produce it and you it does tend to go out of stock and then they restock it but they will not restock it unless it's properly macerated and they have like quality control in terms of like how the perfume smells when it goes out in the market but i have a feeling the more mature it will get the creamier it will feel the celebrity i had given this to was penelope penelope cruz i just butchered her name penelope cruz the next perfume was for me it was very tough to analyze this perfume because it has notes that i love so much so much it's called the love fest burning cherry now what does this smell like let me tell you something it smells if you like the smell of palo santo if you smell palo santo you know the smell of palo santo is not for everyone right but i personally i use it for smudging in my house and i love the smell smell of uh, palo santo because my house just smells really good so forget like smudging and everything just for the smell to linger around your house and then the smell lingers for days so this i feel is like that cherry the cherry note along with that palo santo note and you're burning the palo santo and the smokiness that comes through it along with that cherry note this is what it is to me this is the love fest burning cherry 48 so they try it like 48 times let me spray it somewhere where i can smell it I don't know. I'm getting some rose smell in it. Oh wait, there is rose in it. Okay, so now like the perfume has changed. Because initially when I smelled it, it was literally Palo Santo cherry. You know. Now I know this smells very different on the skin. Oh my god, I'm actually liking this perfume so much right now. So all the notes I made about this is gonna just get tossed out <laughs> into the dustbin. You know. Yep, this is going to be a 50 ml worthy or maybe a 100 ml because like I am really liking this. Right So the category for this is like amber wood. That's like towards the end the base that will be remaining. Uh Fragrantica has this as 3.99 which is like not bad. It is mostly people are liking this perfume. The top notes are burning cherry, raspberry and bergamot. Middle notes of praline, heliotrope, damask rose and sa uh jasmine sandalwood. Base notes of pa Palo Santo, Tonka bean, Gaiac wood, uh ambretolite, Peru balsam, patchouli and Haitian vetiver. like literally for me this like puts me in a slightly meditative state because like i use the palo santo like sometimes when i'm meditating or i used to like a, some time ago i used to meditate a lot but for some reason every time i start meditating i start getting scared <laughs> like i don't know like so i try and not meditate at night like i try and meditate uh, during daytime where there is still plenty of light you know maybe i should try doing it outdoors once it's the weather is cooler and i always burn the palo santo so like it kind of like puts me in that mood you know this perfume also has like this uh, overripe booziness like the fruits like when they get fermented you know and they're almost going bad it has that kind of uh, smell and that cherry like although they're saying it's like a burning cherry i don't know if it's like a reference to some 
uh, cocktail or something. I don't know because I don't know anything with like cherry burning. But I have never even burnt a cherry to smell how it would smell like. Maybe I should try doing that, you know. Waiting for cherry season. Anyhow, in UA, you don't get cherries. Like even if they come here, they taste awful. You know, they're never those sweet cherries. They're always that very raw tasting, barely sweet cherries. This perfume is going to make you sniff yourself again and again. And obviously, like if you're getting so obsessed with yourself, people around you will catch the drift and they're also going to get obsessed with you. I am really liking this perfume. And you know what? I had given it a 7 out of 10 initially when I smelled it. But you know what? I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's a beautiful, beautiful perfume. And 100% I'm going to get this. If not 100 ml, 50 ml for sure. I really like it and I think I'm going to be overusing this perfume. I'll tell you how it smells like. So initial like bergamot, uh, uh, the berry bergamot smell. It's a little fresh, but like towards the middle, it just starts getting darker. So that initial like whiff is like very refreshing. And then suddenly you start feeling like, ooh, it's getting deeper and it's changing. What is that? You know, and it starts getting like very intriguing, very seductive because that damask rose comes into the picture. This is not your dark rose, right? This is your pink rose. So it has that little freshness over there as well. It's not one of those roses that will make you feel... <clears throat> Nothing like the Badial Oud Amethyst. You know, this is more like the Infini Rose Rose, right? And then you have like a hint of Jasmine, just like, you know, so that like the rose doesn't smell too overbearing. And then you have your um, Praline, your Tonka Bean, you have your Woods, you have a little bit of Patchouli, your Vetiver, everything together with the front, the forefront, Palo Santo being in the forefront, you know? And the Palo Santo is burning, so it smells smoky. It is not incensey because a lot of people think this is an incensey perfume. It's not incensey. It's a burning smell. It's like a, a Palo. If, if you know, you know Palo Santo when you're burning it. That sweet smoke that you get. It smells exactly like that. And there's nothing disturbing in it. Like there's nothing disturbing. There's nothing sharp in it. There's no like um, uh, you know. Sometimes I tell you I get a hint of like tobacco or a hint of pepper or a hint like something that'll give it that little like twist you know this has nothing like that this is like a very well-rounded good perfume but you are kind of like if you know these notes you will be able to identify them 10 out of 10 perfume for me this is super feminine again i know men do wear this perfume and i would probably not mind only wearing it but i think you would have to layer it with like a leather perfume or ishkal shuyuk or something like that to make this smell a little masculine actually you know what is ishkal shuyuk with love fest would be a good combination the projection is like six feet or more longevity is like eight hours plus and yes of course it's moving when i say eight hours it is starting with the opening the freshness for like maybe just like a couple of minutes and then it goes into your middle notes and base notes altogether. there's no like wait till you see what happens in the end it stays the same towards the end and this is not like a cherry forward scent. It's not going to be like, oh my God, I smell cherries and I'm smelling delicious, yummy, gourmandy. Nope, 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 nope. Get that out of your head. It's an ambery, woody scent. And that means it's like a little resinous with that woody. And I would say it's like smoky uh, perfume. 10 out of 10. And I gave this to Thandi Newton. <laughs> She's beautiful, isn't she? But like, I feel like, you know, like she would smell like this, like a little exotic and like, I don't know um, like where her origins are from, but I feel like she would like really smell like different, like exotic, you know? Plus like, I love her skin color. Like her skin color is like, you know, even her daughter, she's like so gorgeous, right? And the next one is not different. It is also a limited edition. And the moment I smelled this, I was like, yep, I'm gonna buy this. I had no choice. I have no choice. I will have to buy this perfume. Not only because it's like a limited edition, but when I smell this perfume, I was like, but bro this is so me and that's your vanilla royal sugar patchouli 64 like they tried it 64 this perfume beast beast this is like you'll spray a spray in this room and you'll smell it till the other room it'll travel and this is one of those perfumes that will stay in the room it'll be like you're gone out of the room but you're gonna leave like a whole long ass trail i said that a word again long trail behind you and you're like you know like everybody's like oh who was smelling this beautiful you know and this can easily be a signature scent and i'm thinking like i would i would want to make this my like signature scent 
Now everybody was like, oh my god, this is like a stronger version of like Vanilla 28. Nope, it uh, smells nothing like Vanilla 28. Maybe in the dry down you have hints of Vanilla 28. But this one is like a dark perfume. It goes towards the kind of perfume Elixir is, but not like really Elixir. But it's a noir, like a noir perfume. Like the bottle is golden and like I feel it's apt. Like I would like want, I would have preferred it to be like a black bottle. But then there's so many black bottles in uh, Kiali. I'm sure she wanted to make it like black or something. It's literally like a sugary perfume, but it has so much of character in it. Like you want to know what you're smelling of. By the way, it has a lot of patchouli, like a lot of patchouli. And I feel like, you know, there's so many people who hate the note patchouli. Uh, I was one of them. I used to hate patchouli so much. You know what I realized is like, there's a way you do patchouli and it just smells like really good. If you absolutely do not like it, like there's patchouli in a perfume and it repulses you, this is not the perfume for you. Because this one is like patchouli. Like <laughs> This got 3.85. Uh, I think this is like a premature rating. Let me just call it that because I think people need to try it, let it sit on their skin, like revisit it after like a couple of months and then see how you feel. I would dare not wear this in summer, by the way. I would just wear this in winter because this is like, it can claw a lot of people. Like you saw me, I put two sprays and I started coughing because like it, it was that overwhelming. And me, Simin, Simin, who has like Bakur burning right next to her, and I can talk, I can deep, take deep breaths and everything and not cough. Nothing like overwhelms me easily, yeah? But like this scent, like it made me cough. I have never smelled any perfume like this, so I cannot compare it to anything. All I can tell you is like it's noir. The top notes for this are vanilla orchid, jasmine and golden rum. It is definitely very rummy, like rum with like tons of sugar in it. The middle notes are vanilla infusion, vanilla sura absolute, Tonka Bean Accord, Spicy Rose Bouquet, Smoky Leather, Creme Brulee. So yum. And the base notes of Sugared Patchouli, Musk, Brown Sugar, Amber and Royal Oud. I don't smell Oud. Oh yeah, it is like a little, like, like, you know, like just a pinch of it. Like literally, like she took like an entire barrel of this perfume and then added like a pinch of like Oud in it. But yes, I can smell that smoky leather that she's talking about. Like it's just there like a hint in the background. Now, this is the beauty of this perfume. When you read the notes, Initially, you'll make an opinion, right? Like, oh, it smells like this so-and-so, right? But when you actually read the notes and then when you try and smell the perfume, you can actually identify these notes one by one. And I think that's amazing. It's magical. But at the same time, if you do not know the notes, you will feel like, wow, this perfume is like gorgeous. Like for me, it is just like a very uh, strong, smoky, boozy, vanilla patchouli. And anybody who would wear this perfume has to be a very confident person. Or even if you're not a confident person, people will perceive you as a very confident person because this perfume exudes uh, royalty. Like you smell posh, you smell money, you smell uh, very uh, bold and forward, you know. Like, you know, like in the dry down now, I'm just feeling like it's smelling like a boozy, sweet, wet earth. Oh, that smell. I miss rain so much, really. Like in UAE, it never rains. Like this year, we have seen no rain, not a drop. You know and even if it rains it's barely there for like a few minutes and it's gone and we are so happy that we run out of our houses <laughs> to get a glimpse of like the little bit of rain you know so everybody who is living in countries where it rains you're so lucky this is a unisex perfume this is like easily can be worn by either or it's a very true unisex uh, the longevity and projection are both like i would say the projection is more than eight feet like it, this one is like it's gonna travel everywhere it'll fill up a room you know uh and the longevity is eight hours plus it just gets better and better like throughout the day on your skin it just starts getting boozier boozier darker 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 till like you're left with this boozy dark vanilla with sweet and spicy nuances 10 out of 10 i'm gonna get like 100 ml if it's available i'm not sure i'm not sure because the limited editions i know they usually uh 50 ml but like um i'll try and get like a backup bottle because this is like something i would i see myself wearing a lot and you know what celebrity comes to mind when i like smell this it's rihanna it's riri like again she's exotic she's bold she exudes confidence she exudes beauty wealth like i just know like rihanna's smell she would smell like money she would smell like a goddess she would smell 
uh, unique, like nobody else would smell like her. I wonder if her perfume smells something like this, you know. I'll need to get that. It's so expensive. It's too expensive, like, and I think it's a 50 ml and it's like $200 or something. It's ridiculously expensive. But let me see if I can manage to get, like, I don't think she made, like, a smaller bottle or a decant or a sample, you know. If you want that perfume, get, buy the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, this is really for me, Rihanna. 10 out of 10, beautiful perfume. I love it and I will definitely get a full bottle of this. Like I said, this haul is not going very well because I literally have five perfumes now that I want to buy. <laughs> So there are two more left now. One of them is a Utopia Vanilla Coco. This is one of my all-time favorite Kiali fragrances. This is like, for me, when I smelled it, I was like, yes, I'm getting 100 ml. This was, along with Vanilla 28, I was like, this, I have to have this like in a full bottle of it, you know. Thank God this is not a limited edition. Thank God this is going to be like continued, like she'll continue producing these because I know like, it did not get the um, love that it deserved. Like, I feel this perfume should have got like a rating of like 4.5 at least. This is your very summer vacation-y kind of perfume. It is again an amber vanilla. It has like this coconut milky beginning. It smells like a cocktail which has coconut milk or coconut, yeah, coconut milk, the thicker liquid. And then it has like fruits in it, you know. It smells like that in the beginning, but then there's like a gardenia smell, which is very forward. And that gardenia kind of is like overpowering all the other scents in the opening. But then again, like I said, you need to wait, like spray it and wait, because initially it's going to overwhelm you because all you smell is like the fruity florals of like all the white florals that you can think of is crammed into this bottle. Like you literally feel like that. But that coconut milk thingy and then the base notes are like going to come out and that's when you're going to be like genius perfume. The top notes for this are coconut milk, honeysuckle, pear blossom, and Italian lemon. Middle notes of gardenia, jasmine, sandbag, tuberose, and amber. Okay, so it basically does have all the white florals crammed into one. Base notes, however, is bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. And that's where all the beautifulness starts of this perfume. Like already, already, like I can see the florals like depleting and giving way to the boozy vanilla. You know what would make this perfume even better? If I would spray Chocolate Musk from Al Rehab with this, it would just turn into a different fragrance. Or maybe a more coconutty perfume. If I would spray that with this one, it'll become amazing. Now see, initially when I sprayed this and when I made my notes, I was like 10 out of 10 perfume, right? Now it's come down. <laughs> it's not definitely not 10 out of 10. It has something missing in it. And I think it is that, because you know, when you say Utopia Vanilla Coco, I know cocoa over here is not chocolate. Cocoa over here is vanilla and coconut, right? So, by the way, she took only 11 tries to perfect this uh, perfume. It's a very good perfume. It definitely smells like you are on a posh island in the Maldives or Bora Bora, like somewhere where it's very expensive, you know? And then you wear, like, even there, like, you need to be a little dressy. You cannot just, like, walk out wearing whatever, like a kaftan or something and just roam around. You still, like, dress up nicely and you uh have a flower like on your ear like a gardenia or something you know and there's like a lot of jasmines growing everywhere i don't know where the islands have jasmine okay just imagine it okay because it's my imagination i can put whatever i want over there i can put little midgets running around if i want to you know <laughs> but at the same time you're having this like drink which is like a tiki drink which is like milky coconut milky but with like exotic fruits um, and then it has like this rum, which is like really boozy and it tastes like super sweet, you know, it smells like that. Now I will definitely get a 50 ml bottle of this one. I cannot help it. Like guys, I like all the like Kiali perfumes. It's just weird, but I have a feeling in the second one, the second part two of my video, I think I'm going to not like a few of them. I'm pretty sure of it because I've tried a few of them and I was not very impressed and I didn't revisit them. This perfume is super, super, super feminine. Like if you like perfumes like Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder, you're going to like this perfume. And apparently it smells like Mugler Alien Goddess. That's what it says. And the frag on Fragrantica, it got 3.91, which I feel is apt. I would have like thought it would be like 4.1 on Fragrantica because it is definitely a very crowd pleasing perfume. It smells very like, like, how can you not like this perfume? The projection is plenty, it's three feet, like of course if you're wearing it in summer you don't want it to be overwhelming. 
uh, the lasting power is like five to six hours and I feel this perfume is a little linear like you will not like see it changing a lot of course from the top note to like the middle and base it'll take some time but then the middle and base kind of stays the same but yeah let's say when you are uh, uh, winding up and you're ready to go to sleep and you want to take a shower just before you sleep you will smell this reminiscent uh, amber tonka vanilla kind of a scent on yourself and it will be sweet it will be a sweet scent and the person I thought immediately when I was making notes I was like bro this is so Jessica Beale 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 like I'm sorry if I'm butchering her name Jessica I think it's Beale Jessica Beale like she's hot she's like um I don't know she looks like she stays on an island <laughs> it just reminded me of her I feel like she would smell like that little coconutty little like little fruity but also like like white floral you know in my opinion this was a 9 out of 10 earlier but right now I'm gonna give it like an 8 out of 10 just because like now I feel I'm like I'm like not overwhelmingly loving this perfume we are on the last one now <laughs> in this part one and it is the invite only amber bro okay so I'm not much into amber scents right like for me amber is like okay you can have it like a like a base note and enjoy it with different different like formulations but like a perfume that's forward in amber I was like nah it's not happening it's not happening because I was like I cannot have like an amber forward perfume and just wear that right to my surprise I don't know if it's me like my nose changing a little bit because now I actually do enjoy this perfume in a weird way like I really like it let me spray it on my running out of body parts I think she this is probably like the best amber fragrance I've ever smelled I'll tell you what it smells like and I had recently uh, reviewed this perfume and if you like that fragrance you will definitely like this fragrance because they are quite similar it smells like sacred by um, Louis Carden I have that in my office now because I had received it as PR and I took it to the office I wear it in the office but it's very close so if you like that perfume you will definitely like it so if you don't want to spend coins on this and you do want to try that perfume before blind buying this try the sacred by louis carden this smells a little bit more expensive than louis carden sacred this smells like again it smells like a very rich woman who has excellent taste and she only wears like bold colors like you know like jewel tones or she likes gold and black you know like it's like one of those women you know like strong boss babe you know like definitely like she's like uh she's the leading chair what do you call them like board of directors but she's like the one who's sitting on the main chair <laughs> sometimes my english is like you know <laughs> guys english is not my first language well it kind of is because like at home although we speak a combination of urdu and hindi uh but like with my sisters and my dad we always spoke in english and so kind of like they say the language you dream in that's your first language <laughs> so i dream in english so that's how i'm like okay but sometimes i do dream in okay let me not like go here and there it's pissing off when i do that but like sorry guys this is like again a masculine no, a unisex scent a man or a woman can completely like pull it off and like the projection siage don't worry about it. don't <laughs> this is going to reach every corner of your house every corner of everywhere that you go if you go in the elevator leave it the whole day the elevator will smell of this perfume you know and the longevity is like eight plus hours it's, it just goes on and on and on also it's a very linear scent again it's very very linear like from the beginning till the end you just feel this amber forwardness with this little tobacco whatever i'll tell you the notes and i'll tell you like what's that little pop which makes it interesting the top notes for this is tobacco leaf so when you spray it you're first you're like hit by it then you have sour cherry honey chocolate and hazelnut middle notes of ceylon cinnamon may rose damask rose citrus leaf base notes of amber agarwood vanilla benzoin sandalwood cypriol oil patchouli and musk i'm sure all these notes are <laughs> But they're probably there in like very minuscule, like the like little bit, you know, like because for me that little oomph is of that tobacco. And then you have your amber agarwood vanilla. That's how I feel this perfume is. And literally, like from the beginning till the end, I feel it stays like constant. 
it's just that tobacco leaf like it starts like kind of like depleting towards the end so that little magnetism that oomph that you get and this is why i say it's unisex and it gives you that boss babe feeling because of that little masculinity it has it's super incensey boozy this is like in Kiali's world, if anything was similar to Buy the Fireplace or Angel Share, you know, those category perfumes, if anything existed in the Kiali world like that, I'm not saying it's dupes, right? I'm just saying that kind of DNA is amber. So don't get confused when you say invite only amber and you would assume it's a very nice, sweet amber fragrance. No, <laughs> this is like powerhouse, you know? And you know what celebrity I thought of? Helen Mirren, like Helen Mirren, like would, she's like boss babe, you know, and she's like, you know, even like in her age, she's like so confident. She, I know like she, like you feel like she knows that she's sexy and she's good looking, you know. I think like she's hot. Like I think Helen Mirren, like she probably gets her way. <laughs> she gets her way everywhere she goes, you know. And this perfume for me, 10 out of 10. And I'm going to get this perfume as a backup. I mean, the full bottle. This is like probably just suitable for autumn, winter because like, you know, like you don't want to be smelling like this in summer unless you're going for an occasion or some event in the evening where it's slightly cooler. If you're indoor, you can get away with it. But in Dubai heat, like 50 degrees centigrade, guys, <laughs> I have no idea why two different measures for the same thing exist in this world. It's annoying. Like, you know, either just calculate things in centigrade or in Fahrenheit. We don't need two different measures to uh, like, you know, like even me, I need to like calculate. I'm like, okay, so ha -ha, if this is the Fahrenheit, how much will be in centigrade? You know, not cool. Same goes with like, I don't know, distance. <laughs> Why are there like so many different uh, units of measure? You know, it's like annoying. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did because I am in love with all the fragrances. Like literally I did seven today and I'm like, I need to start collecting money from now itself so that I can afford these perfumes in November. You know what I mean? And I think from now on, every time she releases a perfume, I should just get the 50 ml. You know, like, because I know, like, she's going to come up with something which is going to blow our mind, you know, and you do need that bottle because they're always so unique. Like, all these perfumes, I literally feel there are barely any dupes that can qualify except for the amber, which I feel like Louis Carden's Sacred is very, very close to it. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and... Um, if I'm if I'm speaking too fast in my next couple of videos, please know it's because my brain moves faster than my tongue and I need to catch up. So I start slurring sometimes and sometimes it's the complete opposite. I'm blank and I'm trying to push words out of my mouth. <laughs> so I hope like I still like manage to uh, make you understand what I feel about each perfume. And like a lot of you all said, like you have asked me to say what I feel about the perfume and I usually just do that. And maybe I will just read the notes towards the end so that you don't feel like I'm influenced with it. And I'll just tell you what it makes me feel, how I feel, blah, blah, blah. And then I can read the notes and tell you if I can identify those notes. I hope that's okay with you guys. So that's it for today. Stay beautiful, stay lovely, be kind to each other, smell good. And I'll see you next time. Bye.